The next time this week that someone frustrates you, angers you, attacks you, belittles you, excludes you, disrespects you, looks down on you, shuns you, or ignores you, causes you stress, pray for them. Be mature enough to pray for and hope for the best for those people who won't be praying for you. This is easily one of the best ways I know to deal with stressful people, but it's so not easy to do. To be successful in this, you must be able to take control of your emotions and be aware of your feelings in the moment. When you find your emotions getting hotter, you have to be conscious enough to stop, drop, and roll those emotions to stop the fire. Redirect your energy towards praying blessings, good things, positive things for the person. Think of it as a workout for your soul and as a self-evaluation tool. Can you really lift up and elevate someone who is driving you nuts? Maybe literally the driving part anyway. For whatever reason, this time of year often gives us ample opportunities to interact with very rushed, hurried, distraught, bent out of shape, stressed out themselves kind of people. In their stress, they have the leverage to cause us stress. It's that moment, you know, when you've been circling and circling and circling the parking lot, trying to find a place to park. But look over there, finally, a parking space just on the other side. All you have to do is, what? No, no, you just didn't cut in front of me and steal my parking space. <laughs> Has it ever happened to you in the parking lot? Or how about have you ever got stressed out at work or the office? Are you a student? Maybe someone at school did something like this to you. Neighbors, coworkers, everybody. There's a chance for them to cause you stress. Think of the world, just for the sake of this discussion, is made up of two kinds of people. People who bring you up or people who bring you down. People who bring you tidings of great joy or people who bring you stress. This is what Jesus says to do. He says, you're familiar with the old written law, love your friend, and its unwritten companion, hate your enemy. He says, I'm challenging that. I'm telling you to love your enemies. Let them bring out the best in you, not the worst. When someone gives you a hard time, respond, he says, with the energies of prayer, for then you are working out of your true selves, your God-created selves. This is what God does. He gives us his best, the sun to warm and the rain to nourish to everyone, regardless, the good, the bad, the nice, the nasty. Jesus goes on and says, if all you do is love the lovable, do you expect a bonus? Anyone can do that. If you simply say hello to those who greet you, do you expect some kind of medal? Any run-of-the-mill sinner does that. That's what Jesus says. Like any other workout, there's a reason they call it work. It's not easy. I'll be praying for you that God will give you the strength and maturity to pray for those people who stress you out.